Hi everyone, I'm going to try to go ahead and do a part two to my last video. And it was actually some time ago that I realized that there was a connection in the book of Esther with the Revelation 12 sign. And, and you can see that here in Esther 5.1 where it says, Now it came to pass on the third day that Esther put on her royal apparel and stood in the inner court of the king's house over against the king's house and the king sat upon his royal throne in the royal house over against the gate of the house and I noticed this connection because when you look at this in the Greek where it says Esther put on her royal apparel it uses a word in the Greek which is the same word that's used in the Revelation 12 sign where the woman is clothed with the sun and so that would be this word right here okay you can see that here in Revelation 12 1 where it says and there appeared a great wonder in heaven a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and upon her head a crown of 12 stars and so it's this word right here it's a, a different form but it's the, the same word it's just a different um, conjugation okay and you can see the root form right here it's Strong's 40 16 and, and it means clothed or to throw around put around and so this is the same word that's used in Esther 5.1 and it's interesting that 5.1 would actually be the number 15 backwards and so there's two ways to count the third day from the moment that the veil of the temple was rent in twain because you could go from the 15th of Nisan to the 16th is the first day from the 16th to the 17th is the second day and from the 17th to the 18th is the third day and so the 18th is the, the third day or you could just count it this way from the 16th the 17th and the 18th okay so you have the third day mentioned here and then you have the third day mentioned in exodus starting from verse 16 and going through to verse 18 okay so when you go to the book of esther chapter 2 you see the same pattern you see that Esther was taken to King Ahasuerus into his house royal in the 10th month, which is the month of Tibet in the seventh year of his reign. And so this would match up with 2016. Okay, and as I showed in this video, which I linked to my last video, I did this some time ago and it was called September 23rd, Sign of the Woman starring Esther. And what I was showing in this video is how the word Esther actually means star and Esther is actually known as the morning star. And so we had this conjunction between Jupiter and Venus in 2016 on August 27th that was known as the Bethlehem star. You can over here it mentions the 10th month as I showed in the video and then just a couple of months later in October you had what I believe is the the first Revelation 12 sign because you had the the sun in Virgo and the, the moon was at her feet and then I had done this table on the word October where I spelled the word October phonetically and it came up exactly where it's talking about the Revelation 12 sign in New Jerusalem in Galatians 4.27 and then again you have the number 27 there. Okay, so that was on October 4th, 2016 which would match up with Esther 2.16 but in verse 12, in Esther 2.12 it talks about the 12 months of preparation so Esther was given a year of preparation and then in Revelation 12 1 is where it talks about the Revelation 12 sign or what became understood as the Revelation 12 sign on September 23rd and so that was a year later after the 12 months of preparation
preparation that were given to Esther. And then when you go to Esther 5.1, which is 15 backwards, that's when it talks about the third day and that Esther put on her royal apparel. And it uses the same word for clothed that is used in the Revelation 12 scripture in verse 1. Okay, and then it comes up in verse 5 where it says, And she brought forth a man-child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron, and her child was caught up unto God into his throne. And so this would match up with Esther 5 when Esther put on her royal apparel. Okay, you also see here in verse 5 that the man-child is given a rod of iron. And of course, the man-child represents Jesus, but it also represents the bride because her child was caught up. It uses the word arpazo in the Greek, which is the word rapture. And so it represents Jesus and the bride, where it talks about the rod of iron. Okay, so when you go back to Esther 5, verse 2, this is where the king extends the, the golden scepter to Esther, and he offers anything she wants up to half the kingdom. You see that here in verse 3. Okay, and then it goes on in Esther 2, 17 to say, And the king loved Esther above all the women, and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins so he set a royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Vashti and so at the time I had pointed out how this looks like the year 2017 so if you start from the year 2016 that's when you had the sign that took place in 2016 which was the Bethlehem star, which was the Venus and Jupiter conjunction, and this was the Hebrew year 5776, which matches with the estimated height of the pyramid with the capstone placed on it, and so that would have been 2016, and then 2017 is when the king gives Esther the royal crown and what I didn't point out in this video because I didn't think we were going to make it to 2018 but now we're three years later or the, the third day if these are days for a year and so 2018 is where it says and the king made a great feast unto all his princes and servants even Esther's feast and he made a release to the provinces and gave gifts according to the state of the king. So he makes a release, which is what is done on the Jubilee in verse 18. Okay, and here's the interesting part that I wouldn't have noticed or remembered if I hadn't watched this video again. But if you go to Esther 8, 9, over here it mentions the third month which is the month of Sivan and the 23rd day of the month. And I'll just read the scripture. It says, So the king's scribes were called at that time in the third month, which is the month of Sivan, on the 23rd day. And it was written according to all that Mordecai commanded to the Jews, the satraps, the governors, the princes, the provinces from India to Ethiopia, 127 provinces. And this number is interesting because the ratio of the pyramid is 1.27 and I've talked about the number 27 which I could talk a little bit more about later but it goes on to say in all to every province in its own script to every people in their own language and to the Jews in their own script and language and he wrote in the name of the king Ahasuerus sealed it with the king's signet ring and sent letters by couriers on horseback riding on royal horses bred from swift steeds and then if I play the video you'll see that it goes on to say that this is actually the longest verse in the entire Bible it contains 90 words so Esther 8 9 is 
the longest verse in the Bible. And this is where it mentions the third month and the 23rd day of the month, which is the month of Savan. Okay, but as I mentioned in my last video, the month of Savan is the third month on the religious calendar. But if you count the month from the civil calendar with Tishri as the first month, then the month of Savan would be the ninth month. And I had pointed out in my last video where I was talking about the possibility of June 7th for the rapture, which I'm not trying to set a date, but this is just more evidence pointing to that date. But I had talked about that possibility and how in Haggai 2.7 is where it says, and I will shake all nations and the desire of all nations shall come and I will fill this house with glory, saith the Lord of hosts. Okay, I've talked about how the word coma is the word desire in the Hebrew and how I believe it represents the capstone. It's also represented as the Virgo with the, the man-child, but in, in this imagery it's represented as the hair of Berenices, but as I've mentioned before, it forms a, an angle which I believe represents the, the capstone, the top of the pyramid. Okay, and I've also talked about how the number 27 seems to be connected with the pyramid, which is something I can talk a little bit more about at a later time. But if you go down to verse 18, which looks like the, 20, the year 2018, this is where it says, Consider from now from this day and upward from the 4 and 20th day of the ninth month. Okay, and as I've mentioned before, Savan is the ninth month on the civil calendar, but it's the third month on the religious calendar. Okay, so getting back to this video that I had done some time ago, it says over here that Esther 8, 9 is the longest verse in the Bible. So it could be that God is giving us a hint as to the timing by making this the, the longest verse in the Bible. And at the time, I was pointing out the fact that this could be pointing to September 23rd because Savan is also the ninth month. And so September 23rd is when we had the Revelation 12 sign. And it's interesting that it talks about the decree in Esther 9. And this is when um, Purim was instituted. So there's a connection with the verses that come up in Esther 9, verses 20 and 21, and 22 through 26, it's all about the decree of Mordecai and the Feast of Purim, which would be Esther's feast. But if you go back to Esther 2.18, it mentions the feast here. It says, and the king made a great feast unto all his princes and his servants, even Esther's feast, and he made a release to the provinces and gave gifts according to the state of the king. And so it mentions Esther's feast in verse 218, which looks like the year 2018. And so I'm not sure of the exact date, but there seems to be a correlation with the years and how they correlate with the verses, as you can see in Exodus 1916 through 18 it talks about the third day and then it culminates in verse 18 with Mount Sinai being altogether on smoke because the Lord descended upon it in fire and then you had the the sound of the trumpet and the lightnings and the voices which seems to correlate with all the scriptures that I showed in my last video and how they seem to come up in verse 18. So you have the third day connected with Esther in verse 5-1, which looks like 15 backward. And then you had the Bethlehem conjunction in 2016 with Jupiter and Venus, which is known as the morning star, and Esther is known as the morning star. And then you see the morning star mentioned in Revelation 2 verse 28 where it says and I will give him the morning star as well as in Revelation 22 16 